Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today we are going to get this lawn back in good shape. It's been out of shape. Two days ago I fertilized, add some iron, and added some post-emergent herbicide and it's starting to do the trick. I need to mow it. We've gotten like six inches of rain in the past two weeks. So we're good on moisture. We just need to get this lawn back tight in shape. We're gonna do two rotary cuts in two different directions and then two reel cuts in two different directions. And we're gonna bring that height down and we're gonna break the rules today. Let's get started. All right, before we get started, let's do a little tour of what's going on, on the lawn. All right, um, we've got a lot of mushrooms growing up right now. That's awesome, that means I have a good organic base. Some of the spring seeding areas that I did are looking okay. I've got moles and squirrels that are just going to town right now, and it's kind of driving me nuts, but I haven't had a chance to do anything about the moles. The mushrooms obviously are good. You can't do anything about those. It's that time of year, moisture, a little bit of heat. Those mushrooms come right up. The backyard, we've got an issue with toys causing damage to the lawn, and I've got a solution for it. I just don't have it in the budget yet to do it. Um, it's something I want to do is kind of make a playground area for the kids with rubber mulch or one of those rubber pads in like a 15 by 15 area. That way I can keep the toys stored over there and they're not sitting on the lawn for two, three days when I'm not paying attention back there. And got to get that taken care of. It drives me nuts. The backyard's for fun and play. The front I try to do for show. I still want both to look nice, and I've got you know, picnic tables or slides, cars, destroying the lawn, that sucks. Let me show you some of the, uh, the weeds. Basically, I've got a ton of clover, which I don't mind in the backyard, it's good. It's good for the bees when it starts flowering, but I've got too much in the front. And so I put down a post-emergent herbicide, 2,4-D, dicambia, and let's we'll see what the results are. This is 48 hours afterwards. And then lastly, I want to show you guys my spring seeding project in that 10 by 10 area. It's looking all right. It's thickening it up. I've got a lot of thistle coming up, but it looks great. So let's go ahead and start mowing two rotary cuts real cuts let's get this down back to a good good length I don't know what we're gonna do yet probably we'll just get it back to an inch today cuts in. We're going to go diagonal now and drop it down to about an inch and a half. See what the rotary's done. Let's pet it. So we're about an inch and a half, two inches.
All right, guys, that does it for me. That's a uh, double rotary mow, double reel mow. What's the next one? Flow, trim, edge. Like, subscribe. See you later.